Hey gang, it's Deb Delapiana here. You know, while we all fry here on the grand and glorious planet known as Earth, uh, the worm continues to turn in Washington. So a couple of things I want to <laughs> talk about tonight, and I, I promise I won't make this a long video because I really don't think it needs to be. Uh, but there are like two people, one in each party, who wield far too much power uh, for the turf that they represent. You know, their power is not commensurate with their importance in the planet, okay? The, the one on the Democratic side is Joe Manchin, who I have repeatedly said um, needs to be given a primary challenge when his term is, you know, uh, when his term is up and, and, and be removed from the, the Democratic Party. He, is, he wields far too much power. Uh, he, he represents the state of West Virginia. Um, and, you know, on a, on a population basis, it's irrational for a man um, to have that much power. Same thing with Susan Collins, the Republican of Maine. She's another one. They're two game players. So the GOP has pretty much been decapitating Joe Biden since he won the, the, the presidential uh, party. You know, I call it a party. You know, one man's party is another man's torture. I don't even know why this guy is, you know, wants to be president, to be perfectly honest with you. I think Joe Biden was given the most thankless job on the planet uh, of trying to stabilize this country after the fucking orange jackaloon lost the election. And he did lose the election. Uh, but be that as it may, Joe Manchin suddenly has come around on the climate bill. And he has met with uh, Chuck Schumer and they've come to an agreement to, uh, to get a quick vote on the climate bill. And, you know, this would be a substantial climate bill. It would be the first real action that we've taken in a long, long time on the climate. Because as we all know, the Republican Party and Donald Trump really believes that climate change is a joke, even though we're fucking frying here. Okay, even though sidewalks are melting in the UK and, you know, uh, the grid is, you know, melting in Texas, whatever. Uh, we all know that the, the Republican Party really... Uh, is in climate change denial because it, it offends their fossil fuel friends way too much. And Joe Manchin is one of those guys who has fossil fuel friends. Um, but he came around and, and agreed in principle on a bill. Now, let's remember that this bill is not even passed yet. They've just gone through a reconciliation process, okay? So... Susan Collins, the other half of this nitwit equation, is now threatening the same-sex marriage bill, a bill that, you know, we would need 10 votes from the Republican side to pass. She is now threatening that because they came to an agreement on the climate thing, that this bill codifying same-sex marriage may not pass. So... Let's make one thing clear here. That's not governance, okay? What that is actually is extortion. There's no other word for it. It's extortion, okay? Let's not make any bones about it. And we're talking about a woman here who represents the state of fucking Maine, okay? So there's another little scenario here that happened about a month ago there was a veterans bill that passed and the bill would help alleviate uh the financial burden on the veterans and the families uh who are you know affected by this and this would be 
Vietnam veterans who were exposed to Agent Orange, and it would be uh, veterans of Iraq and Afghanistan who were involved, who were exposed to the chemicals involved in the burn pits. Some of these people have already died waiting for this bill to pass. Okay. Um, and last month it passed on a bipartisan vote. So it had to be brought back in again for a procedural change. And this should have just been a rubber stamp thing. Okay. It should have been just a rubber stamp thing. All of the families of the veterans were already gathered and ready to celebrate. And 25 of the members of the GOP who voted for it last month turned tail and blocked the bill yesterday. I got to wonder in the back of my head that the excuse they used about the cost of the bill, why wasn't that a problem a month ago? Not much of that has changed over the course of a month. That, not, that was not what the procedure was, the procedural problem. You know, I got to ask myself every day, is this again retaliation for the climate bill? Just got to know, got to know. The fact that they can play with people's lives like this is just amazing to me. The fact that they can play with legislation that affects people's civil rights, like the right to get married to who you want to get married to, not the right to get married to those the government dictates is appropriate. You know, the government's going to get its nose out of everybody's snatch, so to speak, and do its job of governing for the people, not telling people who they can marry, whether they can go to drag shows, whether they can expose their children to information about families that may not be just a man and a woman, whether they can tell their children they want them not to see any of that, that they want them to accept everyone because everyone is a fucking human being. This is not what the government's job is, but this is exactly what the GOP spends its time doing. And the reason the GOP is spending its time doing this is because the GOP is owned lock, stock and barrel by the Christian right. And they are now paying off their fucking debt to the Christian right. The GOP, for all intents and purposes, is useless. 147 of the slugs that are in office right now voted to overturn a legitimate election, which makes them, what? Seditionists. Now, I have heard that the House is considering using the 14th Amendment to remove members of the GOP from the House who did that. I say they shouldn't look into it. I say they should just fucking do it. Just do it. And this has nothing to do with being, uh, let's see, what can we say here? This isn't just a question of being partisan. These people literally are seditionists. And the people who went to Washington, the legislators who went to Washington, who spoke in Washington, who helped plan this whole thing, they are traitors. And none of these people actually work for the American people. They literally work for the Republican Party. That is not the goal here. They are supposed to be public servants, basing their vote on the greater good, not on whether or not someone has the right to do whatever they want to do in their own homes and with their own lives. But to get back to this again, bipartisanship is bullshit in this country. It's a lie. And the two parties, the, the bullshit that the GOP and the right wing tells you that both parties are the same, they are not. Wake up, people. November is 100 days away. We are 100 days away today from midterm time. Do not sit out the midterms if you actually care about changing any of the course that we are on right now, because we are on a path towards full frontal fascism and a theocratic form of government. We have legislators now selling t-shirts about Christian nationalism. You should be afraid and you should be very afraid. And it should motivate you what they have done with Roe v. Wade, 
with everything else should be motivating you to get your ass to the polls and vote. I'm telling you now, do not squander this opportunity because it could be one of the last opportunities you actually have to exercise this right. I promise you, the GOP would just as soon not have to have to deal with voting as we have seen. I'll talk to you all later.